Hello peeps! My name is Jessie Sheehan and I'm a cookbook author and a food writer and a recipe developer and a lover of Cola Vida olive oil. My latest book is called The Vintage Baker. Today I'm going to make an olive oil almond bundt cake with an olive oil chocolate ganache. It's incredibly moist and da -da -da, it is one bowl. So the first thing I'm going to do is brush my pan. If you use olive oil, it works beautifully. If you coat your pan in sugar, you get this beautiful, crackly, shiny exterior to your cake, A, and B, this lovely crackle and texture when you bite into it. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put our sugar into our bowl. We're gonna add our delicious, fruity, and bold olive oil. Look at that gorgeous color. Some almond extract, because this is an almond olive oil bunt one and a half teaspoons. We're gonna take some vanilla extract and then we're gonna whisk this together. And you know, I go a little slowly because I don't wanna like splatter it in my face. Now I speed up a bit, make sure it's all combined. Okay, now we're gonna add some eggs. Now this cake, it has four whole eggs and two yolks. I like to use yolks in my cake because I'm into moist cakes. What we're gonna do is we're gonna add one at a time. Like it takes a little bit of time, not too bad. And now we're going to add our sour cream. And I love sour cream. Again, back to that moist thing. I know that's a controversial word, peeps. I know not everyone wants to hear things described as moist, but I really want this cake, which it will be because of the olive oil, to really, really, really be, how about if we say the opposite of dry? Again, we're gonna not worry too much about being gentle at this stage. Look how glorious that looks. This is kind of a one bowl trick. Um, in order to not use another big bowl for my dry ingredients, what I do is I sift them onto a piece of parchment paper and I use the parchment as a funnel to put the dry ingredients into the wet. This is about two and a half cups of all-purpose flour. Because we're not using a second bowl and so we're not whisking these dry ingredients before they go into the wet, I find it helpful to sift them this way. Then we have a cup and a half of almond flour. The almond flour is nice in the cake. Okay, don't kill me, peeps. It adds moistness. So I know I'm like a broken record here. Um, it adds the nuttiness of the almond, which I like. And I'm just using my fingers to press it through. We have our salt, about a teaspoon of salt. I'm kind of a saltaholic, I don't know. And a tablespoon of baking powder. I'm gonna put about half of the flour in. This is when we start to be really gentle, okay? I do not want the cake to be tough. And this keeps, see, you can reuse this. So I'm very gently incorporating the dry. Now, this is where it gets fun. We are going to pour the batter into our prepared pan. And now, um, we're going to put this into a 350 degree oven for around 55 to 65 minutes. So now, what we're going to do is we're gonna make our olive oil chocolate ganache. We're gonna add a quarter cup of olive oil. So we add that right into our melted chocolate. And then we're gonna add an eighth of a teaspoon of salt. I'm gonna whisk the olive oil. Doo, doo, doo. So I'm gonna put this aside and we will come back to it after our cake has come out of the oven and cooled. Now we have our beautiful baked bundt cake. This has been resting for five minutes. And now what we're gonna do is we are going to invert it for another five minutes. Dun, da, da, da. You ready? Ta-da! Now what I do is I brush it with a little extra olive oil because in my book, peeps, you can never have enough olive oil. And then what we need to do is have our cake rest at least an hour for the cake to cool to room temperature. Now we have our ganache at a really nice dripping consistency. And I kind of go just like this, just sort of on the top, sort of let the ganache do its thing naturally. I've toasted some almonds, about a quarter cup, and I'm gonna decorate my cake. Da -da -da. Delicious. Hope you enjoy.